How to be a terrible politician and an amazing cameraman. Go. And just a final question here. Is there any sort of work being done to you with the airlines um, in order to get uh, flights actually on time or not delayed as much? Just curious if there's any work happening there. Yes. So we've seen a, almost a doubling in terms of improvement on on-time performance since last year. That is a reflection of all the work that we've done across the <laughs> ecosystem together with our partner airlines, with agencies, reducing processing time, reducing wait times, and fine-tuning operations with our air carrier partners. And we see the great results that have come from that. Taking a page right out of Kamala and Joe's handbook. Just palter, say whatever you can, fill the void with space, even in the, in the face of the truth, just, just lie. Just lie, even if it's right behind you. Lie, lie, lie. Die with the lie. That's Dirty Politics 101. Happy Thursday. Welcome to this education and welcome to another episode of Try Not to Laugh. Guys, there's no punishments today. We're going to jump right into this one. This is a warm-up. Take it very seriously because you got to test yourself again on Sunday. Or if you laugh, you lose, you do a punishment. All right, but let's jump into this one. If you're ready for today's game, head down and like this video. And if you're new here, please make sure you are subscribed and have the bell clicked for notifications when new videos are uploaded. Now on to today's game. Try not to laugh. Go. So I'm addicted to this. Um, not in a literal medical sense, but I don't think I could live without it. And it's very convenient. All right. Um, you know, sometimes the things you buy, the little quirky things aren't necessary. This one is, of course. You don't get your fingertips all dirty. You don't have to wipe them off every time you grab a chip when you're working. Innovate. Right there. Innovation right there when they don't show the view from the balcony on the holiday listing. It's like a pretty big Airbnb there. Okay, overlooking the graveyard. That's, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Of course they wouldn't show you that. And the balcony too. Who built this house? You thought that was a great spot for a balcony? To have a grill and a place to just hang out and talk about your day? Overlooking all the dead? I stopped drinking coffee around a month ago and I wanted to share some of the changes I've observed in myself in that time. Overall, I'm just less happy. Okay, well, there we go. We got some, uh, there's a case study right there. Don't quit drinking coffee ever. Why would you do that to yourself? And I'm going to say this. The Diet Coke too. Don't give, don't give up the caffeine. If it makes you happy, I'm in a mood today. Don't, do whatever you want that makes you happy, man. All right, don't give it up. When American Airlines has delayed your flights due to a storm, but you see Spirit Airlines taking off. This is why, uh, you know, I select my airlines very, very carefully. Very carefully. Delta or nothing. I'm not flying. Let me tell you something, people. Jesus is coming back, and when he does, he's going to land right here. <laughs> uh, Dunkin' Donuts, it's that good. I've had, to, or what is it? Krispy Kreme, sorry. I like Dunkin' Donuts. Krispy Kreme, overrated. Now, Chick-fil-A, that's, uh, he, he'll be there. That is, I can't even describe how good Chick-fil-A is. How I load the dishwasher. The hell? Special tray for dish or uh, silver? Oh my girl. All right, number two is the way to do it. Why are you? Why are you trying to like make it all nice and cool and neat in there? Doesn't matter. It's all gonna get washed. It's gonna get all tossed around in there while it's getting washed. When your therapist tells you to find a serious hobby. Oh, this again? Dude. I see this more and more and more. They actually have people in the stands. There's a crowd there. You know what I'm going to do? Now that I'm thinking of this, I think we're going to make this a punishment on the next D video or the next Megan D video, which is coming up, by the way. Whoever loses has to enter one of these competitions. That's what we're going to do. Oh, geez, what's going to happen here? Get 
the heck? What am I seeing here? Goo! Oh! That was horrific! Dude, she hit it way better than you. What are you doing? Look at this guy in the background. If you missed it. Oh, that's bad. What are you... That's the worst swing I've ever seen. Watch a YouTube video. Lots of good videos on how to swing. That's not how you do it. Hey, do you want to hang out tonight? Yeah, sure. What time were you thinking? I got to run home real quick, so why don't we meet up around 9 o'clock? 9 o'clock? Yeah. PM? Yes. Tonight? <laughs> yes. <laughs> On purpose? Yeah, I was thinking that maybe we can get together at 9 since it's early in the night. That's considered early? Listen, just come on over and then we're going to meet up with my friends. They said the door opens around 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock? Yes. <laughs> PM? Oh my god. He has a point. Especially, like now that I have a child, anything past 8 o'clock, get the hell out of here. It's not happening. I had some buddies that wanted to grab a drink. This exact scenario, 9 o'clock. I... 9 o'clock, dude. No, are you kidding me? No. no. No, that's not happening. I'm not doing 9 o'clock. Probably ever again until my kids are old enough to take care of themselves. Parents, can you confirm this? This happens. First couple days in the van is destroying me. Live in a van, they said. You'll save so much money on rent, they said. I'm literally just past halfway full. Oh my. <laughs> There's the damage for the day, and I still had a quarter tank before mm. I filled up. So this mm. is three quarters of a tank. Uh. So what are we talking? That's about close to 4500 a month if that's what you do every day. Yeah, save a bunch of money, they said. This is such an overhyped lifestyle, it's not even funny. Like two guys went out there and took a bunch of pictures for Instagram and made it seem cool and everyone wants to join the van life. Get out of here, dude. Do not do that. Do not put yourself through that and save in money. There you go. Stupid. Wow. Now that's innovation. Back to innovating. That's something impressive right there. Putting the recliner on the zero turn. Hell yeah, man. That's what I'm talking about. I want that. I've seen Titanic a million times and only just now while I'm sick at home realized how fake this scene is. <laughs> oh my. This is in the movie? It's fake as f Dude, that's <laughs> horrific. What's crazy, was it 1998? I bet during that time, everyone like didn't even bat an eye because we really didn't have anything better than this. This was pinnacle. This was peak technology, peak CGI. So at that, you know, now we look at it and we laugh, but at the time, that was innovation. Free range balls hack. This is for all of my golfers trying to save money on range balls. I'm gonna get a lot of hate in the comments. I already know, but I'm a member at many different clubs personally, so don't act like I don't understand, okay? No more paying for $20, $15, you know, for to go hit some balls and get better at your game. Go find a private club. You're gonna have to go scope around to find which one's best, Pref preferably no guard gate, okay? And you go park in the parking lot and just go walk to the range and go hit balls. Almost all of them have <laughs> balls out there 24-7. Sometimes you can even just go park right by the range. A lot of members just go park their cars by the range and go out to the range and hit balls. Put some AirPods in, act like you own the place, and also wear a collared shirt, tuck in your shirt, and let's have some golf etiquette. You gotta look the part if you're gonna be doing this. True. You, you look like you own the place, you can hit balls, get your practice session, and leave. You'll be good. Free game. This right here, great advice. It is, because they, they don't care. And $15 for a bucket of balls? It's insane. It's a scam. You got to do what you got to do. It's, it's an expensive sport. You got to cut costs. Tell me you need sleep without telling me you need sleep. Hashtag nurse life. Gotta ring doorbell. <laughs> That's the key to the, uh, what do they call it? The pixel? The pixel that has all the medication. Yeah, the key ain't getting you in there, lady. You gotta use your house key. Get some oh, sleep. My God. Mm. Night shift, man.
That's one thing I'll give to all you night shifters out there, all you nurses, anyone that works shift work. It's tough, man. Pick it up and you can eat it, all right? You can see, Look at that okay. mullet, man. Ready? Ready? Hell yeah. What? No, stop it. Did he did he actually Nathan eat it or is it on? Done. Looks like a lot of it's on his shirt, I'll say that. He got a lot of it. That's incredible. Get this guy in Good Morning America. That's amazing. Props, man. You know, get yourself a little perm. Get some racing straps on the side of perm to, you know, fluff up that neck pillow, that neck blanket. You'll be down in the watermelons winning. You'll be challenging Joey Chestnut next. You should be one of the first people in the office and one of the last to... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it depends on, do you own the company? Are you like the CEO? Then yeah, you probably should. Are you trying to kiss ass? Are you, you know, trying to work up the ranks, get the promotion? <sighs> it depends. You have to have a lot of self-awareness and really know what your chances are at that promotion. Concert, I'm guessing this is like a T-Swifty. What am I looking at here? Oh my, binoculars. We just had this. We've been over this like five times during this whole Swifty mania and the Morgan Wallen tour. They get all these people here at the concerts. We all know what a concert looks like. We've probably all seen the Swifty concerts. There's literally thousands of clips everywhere. Nobody cares. Enjoy it. You know, like infinite, infinite pixels with your own eyes. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. What the hell? Chad, just drive the car. He won't get in under the floor. <laughs> He's going to get under the floorboards. You need to pull off. You need to somehow shoo it off. Hopefully you have a broom lying around in your car. And you could, Or just go grab a stick. It's going to get into your car. That's terrifying. I don't even know what kind of stick that is. I don't even want to know. It's just beyond embarrassing the ignorance of this administration. Oh, let's hear what's going on here flowers at the site where John McCain was shot down in Vietnam. What the know-nothing millennials who set Kamala's schedule didn't know is that the site that she's laying those flowers at, it's a celebration of those who shot McCain's plane out of the sky and then captured him, delivering him to the VC for his long stay and torture at the H Hanoi Hilton. This happened? The stunning ignorance of Kamala Harris and her team was noted by Yao Wen Zhu, a journalist based in Beijing, she tweeted, Does Harris know this monument honors the people who shot down John McCain's plane? Vietnamese people view him as a war criminal. <laughs> so in essence, Harris was paying tribute to those who shot down John McCain's plane. <laughs> It'd be like Harris laying a wreath at Pearl Harbor honoring <laughs> the brave Japanese pilots who sunk the USS no. Arizona freaking way when did this happen how did i miss this this is fantastic i mean it's not like this person has a lot of power in the country right now and this team clearly they don't know what they're doing embarrassing <laughs> embarrassing hilarious in a dark way but that's that's amazing i refuse to conform to societal standards and get up for water at night it's like a hamster wheel Right here, okay. A water. Why don't you just pour yourself a water bottle? That is dumb, dumb, funny. I will say, I see the humor. It's a joke. It's funny. I get it. But if you're really like, if you're being serious, good luck to you in life. Yo, it's the deal of a century. They either twenty cents each, or. Buy for a dollar. <laughs> Where is this man? This office, Max? Get yourself down there. Get yourself a deal. Hell yeah, five for one. Mm, saving a lot of money there. The club got lost in the tree. We'll never get it back. Oh yeah. Meltdown. Here we go. This is going to be beautiful. Oh, he's trying to hang Haney. <laughs> <laughs> See, yeah, that club sucks anyways, dude. Don't go get it. Bad club. Terrible club. Just leave it. Garbage. You don't need that one. Wives be like. Honey, which one do you think? Pink or white? I think I like the white. Okay, I'm ready. 
Why did you even ask me? Every time. Why? This happens every time. Why do you ask us? You always do the opposite of what we say. Like, is that, is that what it is? Like, or is it you do the opposite on purpose? Because you don't trust our taste? Then stop asking us. Be honest. What do you do on Friday nights? Her arms were cut off. Her legs were cut <laughs> off. Her ears were cut off. Her <laughs> tongue was cut off. Her nose was cut off. Her eyeballs were plucked out. That's uh, number one form of entertainment. Murder mystery, man. It's bizarre. But hey, we all do it, right? He melted his meds together. Wait for it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> meds melt for you. They all melt together. So I just like, I kind of just like figure out like what two pills would be and I'm just kind of like... Well, and then, yeah, that's how I do it. I mean, some days it's a little more, some days it's a little less, but like... If I get 90 days out of it, <laughs> it looks like a scab. And then boom. And then it just yeah, it does look like a scab. Right back yeah. in. Is it melatonin, right? Melatonin or is that like a vitamin? Either way, um, are you? Is it melatonin something that you shouldn't take anymore? Do they say that? I, I can't even keep track anymore. Everything's bad for you. That's all I know. It's the urinals. Oh, this is yeah. You know, all you owners. The owners of bars, restaurants, you do this to your, your patrons. Shame, man. That's, that hurts. Crossed him out his drawers. Those should be good. <laughs> Stop it. You did that on purpose. <laughs> you did it on purpose. You know you did. It was like that guy that was... Playing catch with his son the other day. That's ridiculous, dude. <laughs> Elon Musk talking to the two remaining Twitter employees. Hey! Hey! Not now! In 20 minutes! Okay. I just wanted to let you know that Zuckerberg stole our website. <laughs> Mark Zuckerberg? He stole our website. It's been alive for more than 36 hours. You know, that's one of the weird things is like we kind of all just ignore that now the movie came out and everyone knows that he stole the idea and now he literally stole twitter tried to and it's floundering horrifically it started with 70 million now it's down below 10 million users daily it's terrible my biggest flex is that my sister was in harry potter it's gonna be something mean i bet oh yeah Hey, look, it's my sister. Ha, ha, ha. That's mean. That's mean. Don't hurt your sister's feelings. Four, three, two, one. Here you go. Oh, oh, dude. <laughs> Are you okay? Chug. Chug. It's like he's okay. I can't move my shoulder. <laughs> Dude, you never go feet first on the blob. What are you doing? You jump on your butt. Oh, that's... You could have gone a lot higher too. You messed it up. <laughs> I'm glad you're okay. When I say no to a popsicle at 8.30 a.m., my kid. I feel like if I don't get to do this, I, I, I feel like that's it. Like I might... I might uh, like, I, I might die. <laughs> Don't give in, parents. Do not let them have the popsicle. And if you do, then this is the pattern that will repeat itself over and over every day, you know, until they're spoiled teenagers and then they can't get a job in their 20s and then it's all everyone else's problem and they want the student loans forgiven. And that's what happens. That's how it all happens. Just like that. Why the teenagers these days have the same haircuts as my grandma? I've never understood the haircuts like this, like the poof thing. Like we, they kind of ran out of options for this generation. They're like, well, let's just do the poof thing in the front. Dude, bring back the mullet. Like that's, that's timeless. Every generation can have the mullet. Bring back the mullet. Stop doing this stupid poof thing. Worst luck ever. What the hell? Guaranteed, 
Does he lose the cover here? <laughs> gotcha. Ooh, that's tough. Real tough there. You actually thought you were going to win that, huh? They're not going to let you win that. You're trying to make money. What do you? It's like a $1,000 phone right there. Point of view, my doctor watching a video on how to wrap an ankle before she wraps my ankle. Ooh. Like, did you want him to see you watching this? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> this is what happens. I don't know if you guys know this, but, um, you know, there are bad doctors. Lots of them. I worked with them. They're terrible. And I swear to God, I saw a doctor do this. I saw him, I saw him watching a video on how to uh, do a splint on a finger. I swear to God. Lots of them do this. So, you know, not all the experts are good at their jobs. Just FYI. There's another great example. Wholesome. Oh, this is a beautiful clip. Pretty old one here, but look at that. Hell yeah, dude. Peacock peacocking at the age of two. Show popping that wheelie. Chicks love wheelies, dude. All right. That's hey, my name's Joe. Hey, my name's Sarah. That's what I'm talking about, man. Starting young. Your parents taught you right. Chicks love the wheelies. Chicks out there, confirm, please. Let all the young kids out there know this is how uh, you impress. Me talking to Gen Z. We did have the internet when I was little, but it was very slow. And I remember whenever you'd go to a website, it would first ask you, do you want, do you got the high speed internet or the low speed internet? And if you clicked on the one that said the low speed, it wouldn't give the computer so many things to load that would take so much time. And you could see a little bit of the pictures coming down on the screen a wee bit at a time. <laughs> and you couldn't even use the phone at the same time. And my mama, she would always tell me, you know, son, you better get off the internet. We waiting for a very important phone call. This is us now. This is how we talk to the younger generation. It is. This is my husband. Um, just so you know, I've been cut open twice, seven different layers, and I had to walk. I had to start walking 20 hours after I was cut open. This man said he broke his arm. The doctor said, sadly, it's just a muscle strain. Daddy. You okay? Stop. Stop putting him on blast like that. I feel for you, bro. I feel for you. I know how much that hurts. I'm sure, you know, the doctor's a liar. You probably broke, you know, your ulna and your, your radius. What is it? Is that right? Is that right? You broke both arms and your your freaking arm, okay? And probably your humerus too. And maybe your elbow, probably a couple fingers. But don't put him on blast like that. Watch this pitch. Is it a print shop? Is it a bottle cap? What the hell? Can't believe you're playing that game still, man. It's a white power symbol. Did you know that? Bro. Oh my God, what dude. If I had a trailer, I'd take it. Someone, where's the no person way. that dropped it? Did they just leave? They just left their, their ski do in the highway. All right. So you didn't even try to pull it off of the side. You didn't know that it fell off the back. Please get rid of your hitch. You don't be, you should not be hauling things anymore. Use the Home Depot bag when bleaching his hair. <laughs> no. Public service announcement. <laughs> no, <I'm sorry. laughs> Look at the light. Look at the light. Come here. Get in the light. <laughs> Don't. If you're going to use a bag, just use a clear white one. <laughs> That's amazing. I hope you left it. I hope you just, you know, let the, the Home Depot advertisement stay for however long it took for your hair to grow. That's fantastic. She just told me that the password to her phone is my brother's birthday. 
Where's the plug? <laughs> That's uh, plug pull worthy. When you find out you're not the password kid, you know, you're not the special one. If you're the password kid, that's, you know, shame on your parents. You know, you got to have a password that has all the birthday years in it with the first letter of their name. That's what every parent does, right? So pull that plug. I'm kidding. Jeez. How would you do in today's video? Did you laugh at all? If you did, you lose, but there's no punishments. You just got to make sure you watch on Sunday and test yourself again, where if you laugh, you lose, you do a punishment, all right? Let me know how you did down in the comments. While you're down there, please like this video. Please help us get it recommended to others. That's it for today's video. Until next time, I'm Tyler Zed. This is Education. 12, 15, oh, stepping on them. There's a, it's black, anyway. Idiots. You broke both arms in your, your freaking arm, okay?